Hey, it's Rachel from the Lark's Head Shop again, and today I've got another fun technique for you all called the wavy clove hitch knot. So if you've already mastered your clove hitch knots, this one should be pretty easy for you, but uh, this is just a great way to add in some volume and extra layers into your work, and it's pretty fun to make. So if you're ready, let's get started. Okay, so to create the wavy clove hitch knot, we are going to first start with deciding which chord is going to be our lead chord. So I'm going to designate this chord to the left as my lead chord. So all of the other chords are going to just be working around it. So I will start with my next chord in line, just tying a simple clove hitch knot around it. And while I'm tying all of these knots, I just wanna make sure that this lead chord is staying straight down. So your other chords are gonna kinda of have to work around it. Your lead chord might have a tendency to wanna to kinda of pull this direction, but just make sure that you are holding it straight down. You can see we have a straight line with kind of wavy lines flowing into it. We're still going to keep this string as our lead chord, but now we are going to reverse the direction. So you're going to have all these chords kind of form a wave in this direction. So we will start with our lowest chord and you're going to switch the direction that you are tying your clove hitch knots. So it's going to go this way make sure you tie that twice and then continue down the line Pushing up to tighten after each knot. All right, and that is how you create the wavy clove hitch design. As you can see, the center lead cord does tend to wave a little bit. You can probably do a better job of keeping it straight if you just straighten it out while you are working. I kind of like the little wave we've got going on here, so I'm gonna leave it but this would be a great way to just make a nice, like fun, whimsical piece. I can see lots of different uses for this. I hope that you enjoyed learning this new technique and stay tuned for more fun patterns and DIYs. Thanks for joining. Hey, thanks for joining today. If you liked this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos and tutorials, then you can hit the subscribe button and you can also hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted every time I have a new video.